Hey everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood Company. We're at SEMA 2014. And uh, when you're walking around, you see a lot of uh, muscle cars and things that you see every single year. When you walk by this booth, this is something you really gotta take it a double take. This thing is really cool. We're with Jim from Stone Cold Customs. Thanks for letting us check it out. Yes, um, tell us a little bit of history behind this, uh, this a regular Jeep that we have here. Um, this is my mom's uh, 1972 right-hand drive postal Jeep and she retired with 40 years of service from the post office. She probably used it 20 years of her career to wow. deliver mail. We decided to build it for her. So. That's awesome. So this is the actual one that she was driving around delivering mail? Yes, sir. Most of it. Um, most of it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously there's some, been some big changes to it. Um, it didn't sit this low when she was driving around. What, uh, yes, what are some of the big changes you guys did to it? Um, it's got a complete hand-built chassis, all on air ride. The body's all been hand-built on it. We stretched the body four inches. All the floors been rebuilt. Everything's handmade on it. A lot of hours and cool. metal work on it. And so. the, the roof, you know, obviously, she had a little more headroom than that originally. Yes, yes. we chopped it five inches. Oh, okay. Um, and took it, took the five inches right through the glass and mm -hmm. put new Lexan windows and everything. So a little less headroom, but it, it still works. There was a lot of rust in the floors and just cut everything out and used a lot of Eastwood products to replace all that. The shrinkers and, and stretchers made the trainee tunnel and, oh, and cool. most of the floors. So all the fasteners from Eastwood on, on holding the body together and, and getting it formed and everything. Right, so, so the Cuecos and everything to hold the roof together. Yes, sir. Yeah, those are probably pretty pretty important when you're trying to get everything straight. Very handy, yes. Very cool. It has a 383 stroker in it, um, about 400 horse, so with the turbo 400. Um, so it should have enough power to do whatever we need now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, did you surprise her, or was she know the process along the way? She she knew it was happening, and we surprised her Saturday morning before SEMA and, and brought her to the shop to see it before we loaded it. So wow, she is very pleased with it. Oh, that's awesome! So is she gonna get to cruise it around a little bit when you get it back? Yep, we'll we'll take her for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome! I can't wait for everybody to see this thing. This is uh, definitely stands out. Just when it's parked next to some next to something like this, it's uh, you almost walk past it because it's sits so darn low, but man, yes, that thing's really cool. Thank Thanks you. for letting us check it out. I appreciate right. it, Jim. Thank you very much. Yep.